Hey guys, Kev here, and we're going to do a little bit of a rapid review roundup section. I almost said section, but I said sessiones. So the first one's going to be the Vostid Mini Nightshade, and uh, this knife is fantastic, bar one thing. One thing they could have done better, and it would have been an absolute home run, and that is the spring tension. So I'll say it again, or I've said it before, I'll say it again. I just don't like spring-related locks. There's just something about them that doesn't satisfy my uh, fidgety needs and my just OCD and whatnot. This one has a very soft spring. So, you know, it's just not fun to open and close. And it, honestly, it's a little bit of a safety thing where, you know, you're trying to close it and it bounces off or, you know, it's in your pocket and you're worried it might open or whatever. I don't know. But you can see how easy I can just, you know, I'm using the top of my thumb here and just pop it open like that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's really fantastic. The uh, G10 has done really well. The ergonomics are super comfortable in the hand. The Nightshade has always been one of the most comfortable knives. The reverse grip is fantastic for Friday night gas station. Um, the clip works. It's a budgety clip. It's an affordable knife. I do have a link to Vostid's website. It'll be down in the description if you want to uh, support the channel. If you're going to pick one of these up, um, you can use that link. But just beware that the spring is going to be on the lighter side. Um, and I do not see any adjustment points in there unless I miss something. You guys can let me know. We have this sort of uh, anodized backspacer. I think it might be aluminum. Matches the thumb studs. And I found it's easy to just use one finger. So because that spring is so weak, you just kind of drop it with one finger. And you you know, you don't have to do all the adjusting and everything with a small knife. Um, you just keep your grip, slide that finger down, and you're good to go. So that's the Bastide Mini Nightshade. It is uh, a cool one just... You know, a little bit short on the spring for me. It does have a black wash blade, and this was provided to me by Vostid, so thank you to them. I'll uh, go ahead and pass this around if anybody in my uh, pass around group is interested in checking it out. Um, speaking of pass around, all of these knives are going to go through the pass around. The next one is from Tacom Knives, and this is the Chimera. This is their double edged dagger style um otf model it's got this green aluminum body 154 cm blade it is made by best tech over in china and it feels very well done i think it's 160 180 bucks something like that so very reasonable in terms of price you have a reversible clip um what i found is you just stick something very thin through there that's what she said and then um you can put it through that hole right there, and then you just, you can use that as uh, leverage, and then you can get this off by hand, and then just flip the clip over, tighten it back down. I left it on the right side just because I'm going to be passing this around. It's got a very cool pattern to it on the scales, and it's a pretty unique uh, shape in general. It comes in a worn cliff and this spear point. I kind of wish the blade was a little taller. Uh, not much, but just a little bit, but then the handle would need to be taller, and it's a very comfortable uh, OTF. The spring or the switch is very comfortable. It's got good enough power, but not overwhelming. Um, yeah, it just feels really good. Two-tone blade there. Um, just some cool details on the uh, milling on the uh, aluminum body here. So I like this one. Um, again, I'll link Tacom Knives down below. I don't have an affiliate link or code or anything with them, um, but I do appreciate them sending this one along to check out. And uh, you should see it on some other channels as it goes around the pass around. So there's your green knives for the day. Let's interject here with a fixed blade. This one is from Concept Knives, and this is their Corvid S. And that's the fixed blade version of this Coke Tools design. And I got to say, um, I've told you guys this before, but I have never seen a Coke Tools design that I like. Um, just not my aesthetic. Have no issue with the company. I think they're doing cool stuff. 
just don't vibe with any of their designs. But this fixed blade version of the Corvid is just a home run. It melts into my large glove size hand. My thumb just absolutely perfectly lands right here in this poon. And then you have this really nice cleavery blade, black washed uh, 154 CM, sorry, 14C 28N. And then you have uh, black micarta handles um, and just, uh, man, the ergos are just really, really good. Friday night gas station works uh, pretty well on this one. And then it has probably the best sheath I've seen from a Chinese made knife. Um, you have a good little spot right here to push for the thumb ramp and it works, right? It's not too strong to get out, but it has good retention, right? There's no rattle or anything there. Um, and then you have this really nice clip that uh, sits in pocket really, really well. And what I found is when it's in your pocket, if you want to remove the knife, you put your thumb on the thumb ramp and pull out. It comes right out, no problem. Then you just drop it back in, give it a tap, and it'll click into place. If you want to remove the whole thing, you just grab the knife and don't push on the thumb ramp and the whole thing will just come out of your pocket. It works phenomenally well, and um, it's just a good size for EDC. I just think this one's really, really cool, and it's probably my favorite fixed blade I've seen this year, so shout out to Concept on that one. Uh, I do have a link to Concept's website, so I will link that down below as well. Again, use my links, you know the deal. The next one from Katuo is the Triad. This is a button lock design from uh, Felix Danishwara. And uh, it's very cool. I mean, it, it just has a really nice design language to it, in my opinion. I love that shredded carbon fiber. Uh, and it's just a, an interesting design. It's got a thicker feel, but contoured. So it feels really good in the hand. Nice forward finger choil. You have that kind of Jimping I hate where the company just stonewashes everything and they destroy the jimping to where it's just like smooth. I don't love that. Same thing with the front flipper and the flipper. They kind of just, you know, stonewashed it all. But luckily the flipper has a an interesting enough design that it, it really does grab and the detent isn't overwhelming. So it works. Now, as stated earlier, this is a spring type lock and I just don't like that. Um, because left-handed with a button lock, my th my finger just lands right in the worst spot. And I basically always accidentally somehow depress it slightly, and then I get almost no detent. If you stay off the spring or the uh, button, you do get a decent uh, spring tension on this guy. Um, see, if I show you right-handed, it feels a lot stronger on the spring because it is. Um, because I'm not accidentally depressing it. Um, but it does have that effect that you see sometimes where it's kind of like strong sometimes and then weaker other times. And I just don't love button locks all that much. And um, yeah, but the design is cool. It, it, it's got a really big knife look, but it's really not that big. I mean, I have a large glove size hand and, you know, um, if I measure it for you. We're gonna be sitting at, yeah, three and a quarter on the blade and seven and a half overall. So very manageable size. It's fun to thumb flick, uh, reverse flick works well. Um, all of these things right-handed are good. So um, I think this is just one as a lefty I wouldn't want, but if I was right-handed, I think it would be a lot more recommendable. Um, really nice milled clip. Love the backspacer design. So I think Felix did a really good job with this design. So shout out to him. Also has a fantastic hollow grind. And then you have that compound flat up at the front there, which is great. So um, yeah, great job, Felix. And then another one from Katuo is the Illusion. And Felix was kind enough to include this as well when he sent me that triad. And again, these will get passed around. And this is one I'd never seen before. Um, oh, just so you know, I saw the Triad on sale on Katuo USA, um, their website. I don't have an affiliate link or anything, but I will link it. And I think White Mountain had them, but they were like 215 bucks on that sale. The Illusion here was around 250 
And, you know, you're getting a titanium frame lock with M390. That was also M390. Uh, and you just get amazing action on this. And you get, you know, a real lock. And that's the difference for me. I just like a liner lock, a frame lock. Um, that kind of feel for me is just better. Um, I just like the way a detent feels. Uh, you get that pressure to build up and then pop it. Um, so this design is just really, really cool in my opinion. Um, I guess it's an in-house design from them. You can see Katuo there. Um, it's the same brand. I think it's the parent company of Reich Knife. So very well made. You have another compound grind here. See that here? Uh, flat back here and then also flat at the front. It's got that shiny satin I'm not too much of a fan of. And it has one of those sort of crazy uh, plunge grinds that I also don't love the aesthetics of. But um, really nice pivot collar. You have a, a front flipper that works extremely well. Um, it has a little bit more bite on the jimping than, um, that triad does, um, probably because they went with a satin here, but it's really nice. Then you have this unique looking fuller that can be flicked. So it's a fun reverse flicker as well. And then you have just absolutely fantastic action on this knife. They did a great job with this. Um, very cool. You have those external reliefs. We'd love to see those inside. Clip works really well, good retention. You can roll back it. Um, just a fun knife from Katuo that I had not seen before. Now, it's not gonna be a good one left-handed just because you have that fuller and you know I'm on the lock bar, so I gotta get on the clip, and then it's just hard to operate left-handed unless you just wanna go uh, front flipper. But even then, as you just saw, you'll slip off the frame. But right-handed, really good front flip and a fun reverse flicker. So there you go, guys. That's a quick look at five knives. Katuo Illusion, Katuo Triad, Vostede Mini Nightshade, the Tech Knives, what did I say? Tacom Knives, sorry. Chimera, and then you have the uh, Concept Corvid S. So um, some cool stuff there. Let me know which one you would choose down in the comments. If you made me pick one of these that I had to keep, I don't know which one I would choose. I, probably the Illusion, just because it, you know, it has that that frame lock and you can reverse flick it well, left hand or right handed. Um, I love the Triad. It's just left handed. It's a little bit tough. Um, and then if they just added some tension to the spring on this nightshade, it would be amazing. Um, the Corbett is just fantastic the way it is. It's just a fixed blade. I'm not a big fixed blade guy. And then not a big OTF guy, but um, very well done on this one. So there you go. Quick rundown. I love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.